गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे विल स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज सरफेस प्रोटेक्टिव मेटेरियल सो इन दिस चैप्टर विल बी रीडिंग अबाउट पेंट्स वेनिस डिस्टेम्पर्स ओके सो विल स्टार्ट दिस सो विल विल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस दिस आर द सम ऑफ द आर्टिकल्स विल बी रीडिंग अबाउट फर्स्ट इज कंपोजिशन ऑफ पेंट्स कंपोजिशन ऑफ एनिमल्स वॉट आर द कंपोजिशन ऑफ वैनिस एंड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सर्फेस प्रोटेक्टिव मेटेरियल्स एंड वॉट आर दर यूजेस विल बी रीडिंग इन दिस सो फर्स्ट विल बी रीडिंग अबाउट पेंट्स ऑल ऑफ अस नो वी आर यूजिंग द पेंट्स इन आवर हाउसेज आफ्टर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सीमेंट पेस्ट आफ्टर दैट वी आर यूजिंग द वेराइटीज कलर्स ऑफ पेंट्स सो वॉट डू मीन बाई पेंट्स paints are the coating of fluid materials and they are applied over the surfaces of the timber and metals also paints helps to protect the metals and the timber or any plastered surface from the corrosive effects of the weather heat moisture or gases to improve their appearance or to give a better look okay so next we'll be reading about what are the objectives of painting a surface while painting a surface why what are the objectives so first one is it provides a smooth surface for the easy cleaning it protects the surface from the weathering effects of the atmosphere it is used to give good appearance to the surface and the decorative effects may be created by painting and the surface becomes hygienically good clean colorful and attractive so while painting a surface it provides a smooth surface for easy cleaning and it should be give it should give a decorative effects by paint and it also give a good clean and colorful and looks attractive and it also gives the good appearance to our surface okay and also i can say that it protects the surface from the weathering effects of atmosphere heat or any moisture or any type of a gases so next we'll be reading about what are the compositions of the paints or you can say what are the ingredients of the paints there are five ingredients first is base vehicle dryers coloring pigments solvents so first we'll be reading about base so you can see here the images of paints i have shown here the varieties of colors of paints okay so first we'll be reading about base what is base a base is a solid substance in a fine state of division and it forms the bulk of a paint it determines the characteristics of paint and it imparts durability to the surface which is painted and it reduces the shrinkage cracks form, formed on drying so we can say that it is type of a solid substance of a fine state of division and it also gives the durability to the surface from which it is painted and it reduces the shrinkage cracks after drying it reduces the shrinkage cracks okay so next is vehicle vehicle is also known as we can say it as carrier okay so it is one of the liquid substances which hold the ingredients of a paint in a liquid suspension why the vehicle is used in a paint to provide a binding material for the ingredients of the paint or we can say that to provide a binder for the ingredients of a paint so to make the so it can be stick to the surface okay so next is dryers dryer means all of us know dryer means to dry the surface quickly this substance is accelerate the process of drying a dryer absorbs the oxygen from the air and transfers which in turn gets hardened so we can say that this substance is accelerate the process of drying and this dryer absorbs the oxygen from the air and transfers which in turn gets hardened so next that is the coloring pigments coloring pigment pigments means we can add varieties of colors in the paints to give a better look or better appearance so when it, when it is desired to have a different color than the base of a paint a coloring pigment is to be added so a coloring pigment is to be added in the base of a paint okay and this coloring pigments are type of a fine powders and it can be formed in the varieties of colors and it is of a good qualities okay so next is solvents so what is the function of the solvent in a paint 
the function of a solvent is to make the paint thin so that it can be easily applied on the surfaces this is the function of the solvent so next we'll be reading about what are the types of paints so there are eight types of paints here first is aluminum paint anti corrosive paint bituminous paint enamel paint cement paint oil paint colloidal paint and last one is plastic paint so we'll be first reading about that is aluminum paint so aluminum paint you can see here the images of aluminum paint what do you mean by aluminum paint this type of paint is produced by mixing some quantity of aluminum particles with the oil varnish and it is this aluminum paint is mainly used for the metals or wood oil storage tanks gas tanks or water pipes so this is a aluminum paint so next we'll be reading about that is anti corrosive paint all of us know you can see here the images of an the man is painting the this pipe okay you can see here the man is painting the pipe this is this paint is known as anti corrosive paint and it is made up of this anti corrosive paint it is made up of linseed oil zinc chrome and the fine sand and the anti corrosive paint has a black color and it has durable and affordable and it is normally used for the metallic surfaces and pipes and this anti corrosive paint is essentially consists of a oil and a strong dye okay so we can say that it is of a black color and it is mainly used in the metallic surfaces pipes and it is durable and affordable so next we'll be reading about that is bituminous paint all of us know bitumen we are using the bitumen in our road construction concrete foundations wooden surfaces we are using it so bituminous paint is a type of a paint which is made from the dissolved as asphalt or tar which gives it characteristics as a black color and the bituminous paint is commonly used in the iron work concrete foundation wooden surfaces and iron pipes okay you can see here the images of bituminous paint i have shown here this is of a black color and it is mainly used in the concrete foundations wooden surfaces and iron pipes so next we'll be reading about that is enamel paint so what did, what do you mean by enamel paint so this type of a paint is produced by adding the lead or zinc to the varnish and in this paint the pigments are added to achieve the wide varieties of colors and enamel paints are formed hard and glossy coatings which are easily cleaned and this enamel paint can be used in the interior work windows staircase doors flooring masonry concrete plaster glass and metals okay so in this enamel paint some kinds of some quantity of we can say pigments are added to get a variety types of a colors and this enamel paint form hard and glossy coatings which are easily clean and this enamel paint is mainly produced by adding the lead or zinc to the varnish okay this is known as enamel paint next is cement paint all of us know cement cement is type of a powder all of us know and cement paint is available in the powder form which is mixed with water to achieve the paint consistency the base material is white or colored cement and it may contain pigments accelerators and other additives cement paint is durable and waterproof and it, and it is commonly used in rough internal and external surfaces all of us know cement paint we are using in our cement and cement is available in our powder form to achieve the consistency and the cement the base material is of a white or colored cement and it may contains some quantity of pigments or any other chemicals and cement paint is durable and waterproof so last one is that is oil paint oil paint use white lead as a base and are applied in three coats this oil paint it has been applied in three coat first is primer under coat and last one is finish coat and this oil paint may have a matte and glossy finishes and it is being durable and this oil paint is mainly common used in doors walls windows 
and metallic structures. So next that is colloidal pen will be reading in the next slide. Thank you.